I don't know how many of you have a favorite t-shirt or t-shirts, but this one here, this is a real special shirt for me. I took a course at the College of the Redwoods in 2001, and my instructor was a man by the name of Young Chan. And I gotta say, I learned more from Young than I could have possibly imagined. But there was another added benefit to the course. I was able to meet James Krenoff. James Krenoff was a master's master woodworker, and he's written many books on the subject. And if you don't know who James Krenoff was, uh, do yourself a favor and, and look him up. You'll find so much information on him, his style, his technique. Uh, but I was so fortunate to have met him. I didn't take his class, but he was there every day. I had lunch with him. I had a chance to, to get to know him a little bit. And um, I've also had a few opportunities to meet other famous woodworkers. Um, I've met Sam Maloof, uh, went on a walk of his property before he passed away. I took a course from him. I've uh, met Paul Church, who's a very famous uh, marketarian. Um, Matthew Werner is also a marketarian I've taken classes from. John Burt was another um, extraordinary woodworker that uh, is, is little known, but he, I put him right up there in the top masters of woodworking. So I don't call myself a master by any means, but I certainly have learned a lot from very influential people. So whenever I put this t-shirt on, I feel, I don't know, like I'm back in the class. This is a really special piece. The wood is flowering cherry. It's a grafted piece of wood. And if you follow my videos, you'll see in one of my earlier videos where I cut this tree down and said this would make some interesting walking sticks. And you can see the graft union right there, the discoloration and the delineation between the two pieces that were grafted together. And if you look really closely, you'll see that the grain follows the wood all the way through. So I didn't make this piece straight intentionally. I followed the curvature of the wood to keep the consistency of the grain as intact as possible. And I like, I like the irregularity in a, a walking stick or a walking cane here because it, it shows that it's not mass produced, but it's also, um, it's also definitely a one of a kind piece. I polished this one up just beautifully and, and it has such a great feel to my hand. I made it to fit me. I'm six foot four. It can be easily cut down to fit anybody smaller than me. Actually, I think it would still work for somebody up to about six foot seven. But it's uh, for somebody who would need a walking stick or a walking cane for whatever reason, medical reasons or um, just getting on in age. The, the feel of a wooden walking stick is, is so much better than aluminum or, or some of the, the store-bought sticks. And I intentionally don't paint or apply any kind of lacquer to my sticks. They're all oiled and sometimes waxed. So they can be, you know, the finish can be reapplied, but the oils in your hand will just go to make this, you know, polish even better over time. So it'll be a natural finish that can be reapplied and it's just it's not a high gloss finish but just, you can feel the wood and it just it feels so good on your hand it's uh, it's kind of a rare wood nobody uses uh, flowering cherries for lumber because they're generally pretty small trees and this particular piece uh, had died so I cut it down and if you find that video, you'll see where I said, you know, that might make an interesting walking stick. Well, I got four of them out of it, and each of them follows the grain, and each of them has the graft in the end. Everyone will be a little bit different, but I'm offering this one for sale. Don't quite know what to, to ask yet, but I know I have a lot of hours into it. I've got about seven hours into this, this one walking stick. Or should I say cane, walking cane?
But if you follow me over to the corner here, you'll see where I've got quite a few of the walking sticks that I've been working on. Some of them have got carvings, some of them are rough, some of them are textured. There's one with an old man's face on it. I kind of like doing those, but they take a lot of time. One of the styles I've been working with lately that I'm really enjoying is uh, a textured walking stick. This one's made out of walnut, but instead of making it really, really smooth, I'm giving it more of a, of a solid grip. I'm trying to make different levels of walking sticks as well. What I mean by different levels is different people will need a different type of a walking stick. Here's one that I'm working on. This one's kind of cool. This is made out of red cedar and it's also a textured walking stick. It's a reasonably strong wood, but it's very, very light. So this would be somebody who, maybe a, a woman who's not very strong or somebody who um, just, just really requires a, a lighter stick. This is a stick that I've been working on. It needs quite a bit of work so far. This is from the same trunk as the previous one. So here's one that I'm working with it. There's a little bit of a different shape to it. I still got a long ways to go and this one's gonna be textured throughout. But both of these are from the same trunk. And both of these are from the same graft in the ground. This is another interesting walking stick. It's not quite done. I put a, a crutch tip on this, a little bit bigger. It's a very sturdy walking stick, also very light wood. This particular walking stick is, uh, I have a, a little bit of inventory of Port Orford cedar. And this is kind of a rare wood. It's very, very straight grain, very, um, it's a light wood. It, it polishes up beautifully. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a rare tree. We don't, you don't find it too often in the lumber yard. But this came from a, a project from a, a very wealthy man who built a, a Japanese temple up in the Los Altos Hills. And they had some leftover wood, so I acquired a little bit of it. What's really cool about this wood is, is when you plane it, the, the aroma of the wood comes out and it is magnificent. Really, really nice. And you know, and finally, if you've got a stick in your hand, it can be a weapon if you need be. People are going to be reluctant to give you a hard time if you have something in your hands that you could use against them. I'm not saying that that's a good idea, but it does give you a sense of security. You feel, you, you feel like you've got something to defend yourself with. And I tell you, you hit somebody with one of these solid wooden sticks, it's gonna hurt.